Good morning, friends. Hope you all are well. Today, I am going to discuss about hydrotropism and sigmotropism. Hydrotropism. Hydro means water. So, movement of plant parts in response to water is called hydrotropism. It is of two types: positive hydrotropism and negative hydrotropism. Root of the plant moves towards water and shows positive hydrotropism. On the other hand, the shoot of the plant moves away from water and shows negative hydrotropism. Importance of hydrotropism. I hope you know about photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, green plants prepare their food with the help of carbon dioxide and water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. During this process, due to positive hydrotropism, the root of the plant moves towards water and absorbs it. It is utilized during photosynthesis. Along with water, root also absorbs various kinds of nutrients like sodium, potassium. These are essential for growth and development of the plant. Due to negative hydrotropism, shoot of the plant moves away from water and moves towards sunlight. It enables the plant, leaf of the plants, to get sunlight to prepare food. Thus, hydrotropism plays an important role for survival of plant on the earth. Now, I am explaining positive hydrotropism with the help of an activity. It is a pot. It has been filled with dry sand. A freshly germinated seedling of pea is kept here. It is a porous pot. It has been filled with water. The whole equipment is kept in as it is conditioned for few days. After few days, what we will observe? We will observe that the root is growing towards water which is coming out from the porous pot. The root of the plant shows positive hydrotropism. My next topic is sigmotropism. Sigmo means touch. So movement of plant part in response to touch is called sigmotropism. It is of two types, positive sigmotropism and negative sigmotropism. Positive sigmotropism. There are few plants that cannot stand erect. They need a support to move up. These are known as climbers. Like money plant, pea plant, these are examples of climbers. When money plant comes in contact of any support, then it moves, it waves around the support with the help of its stem and helps the plant to move upward. In case of pea plant, it bears tendrils. I have drawn here pea plant that has tendrils. When tendril comes in contact of any support, it waves around the support and helps the plant to grow upward. These are the examples of positive thigmotropism. Now, what causes this tendril to move upward? When tendril comes in contact of a support, then oxygen moves to the non-contact side and non-contact side grows more and causes the tendril to wind around the support. Next topic is negative sigmotropism. When roots of the plant comes in contact of any hard substance like stone, it moves away from them and shows negative sigmotropism. I hope you have understood the topic. I will meet you again in the next video. Thank you and have a nice day.